Ai Hayasaka's day starts bright and early. She gets out of bed and heads straight for the shower. Hayasaka, freshly woken, has yet to put her guard up, so she has a daily ritual to get into a professional mindset. She brushes her teeth, puts in contacts, does her makeup, dries and styles her hair, and once she puts on her maid's uniform, she becomes the quintessential Hayasaka. Maintaining an impeccable appearance is an essential part of her work. Time to leave for work, but let's just down the hall since she's a live-in maid. The Shinomiya's secondary residence employs around 20 people. It is often used by members of the Shinomiya family visiting from the main house in Kyoto, so it must be ready at all times. Servants of the Shinomiya family abide by a strict set of rules. Unless they are specifically called for, they must never show themselves before their masters or guests. The slightest speck of dust is grounds for dismissal, as are any smudges on the dishes or silverware. The residence has no butlers or senior servants, so as the longest serving staff member, Ayasaka is responsible for managing the others. She pays the utmost attention to the supervision of the servant's work. She meets with the chef to discuss the day's lunch and dinner plans, taking into consideration the tastes and allergies of the guests. After that, she gives instructions to the gardener. This is no simple task. The garden is the face of the residence and demonstrates the majesty of the Shinomiya family. Every season, they import flowers from around the globe and carefully plan a design. Depending on the situation, they may hire landscapers. She reviews the budget, and the servants do all the pruning while there are no guests around. She then wakes her mistress, helps her change, and reviews her schedule. Her mistress then has breakfast. Servants are strictly forbidden from eating with her. After seeing her mistress off to school, Hayasaka also eats breakfast, quickly stuffing a sandwich down her throat. She then checks the mail. It's mainly courtesy letters from various companies. Coming up with replies to these letters is also part of her job. She drafts responses on her way to school. At school, she attends class. She collects information from her classmates, all while keeping an eye on her mistress. She's always on the lookout for trouble in her mistress's vicinity, keeping tabs on the biggest troublemakers. This part in particular really begins to drain her strength. The student council room is private. She would be sternly rebuked for entering without permission. Ayasaka tries her best to accompany her mistress on the way home. Because the mistress has classes to take and guests to entertain afterward, this is the only time the two of them can meet and make arrangements. Here's a draft of the thank you letter. You'll be having dinner with the wife of Yamate Shipping Company. Last time she was wearing a black dress, purple nail polish, and a turquoise necklace. Be sure to acknowledge that to impress her. Yes, yes, I'm aware. Her mistress has an intense schedule, which makes the servant's schedule all the more brutal. They are far busier after returning home than in the morning, especially when they have company. This is no job for a 17-year-old girl, but the law means nothing to the Shinomiya family. Ayasaka herself has never so much as questioned the legality of her job. Ever since she was born, she has lived her life as a servant. To Hayasaka, this was simply her everyday routine. Almost every night, Hayasaka is called to her mistress's room and forced to endure completely pointless discussions. At this point, she is tired to the bone and would much prefer getting to sleep as soon as possible. But... This is the only time when I Hayasaka can. After returning to her room, she carries out her final duty for the day, reporting in detail on Kaguya Shinomiya's behavior to the main house. After making her report, she prepares for the next day and gets into bed while watching some videos online. And finally, she drifts off to sleep. And thus, 
Ai Hayasaka's routine begins again. And, for her, each and every day. <laughs> every single day since she became Kaguya's attendant about ten years ago, she has been crushed by her own feelings of guilt. Which is why. It's finally time for the school trip! This is the first time I've ever been so excited for a trip! Are you all packed, Hayasaka? You've been looking so tired lately, so it'll be good for you to get a chance to relax a little. Kaguya, there's... there's something very important I need to discuss with you. I will be resigning from my post after the school trip. <laughs> Mm. Huh? Since when were those two friends? That's quite the odd pair. It was then that Hayasaka realized what her final job would be. Cutting the apron strings and letting go of this adorable spoiled child. <laughs>